Lake District today for a change on a nice day as well uh, I'm parked up at Oldswater which is behind me and uh, as you can see the reservoir looks pretty low um, objective today is to climb up onto High Street a famous Wainwright classic and then go anti-clockwise onto uh, Mardell Bell and, and then cut across over to Arterfell and then come back over that track there if you can see it on this camera yeah you can uh, my path starts down there but um, I thought just before we set off I'll give you a bit of history on um, Oldswater okay Here we go, start of the path and uh, temperatures are starting to climb already, I can feel it. finally navigated that river very slippy um, I could have gone actually where that guy's going there he's following me but there's another path up that way anyway mustn't grumble so up on this wall side now over that ladder style what you're seeing there is um, the remains of Mardale Green village it's showing which um, it usually won't do when there's full rainfall because the water will come right up here so very rare to see that the drought this summer's um, allowed it to be seen we're following this path for a while and then it sort of like swings back um, it's just like in a U shape and we'll be climbing up a knoll called Rough Crag or yeah it's called Rough Crag it's on the turn point of the track and something you don't want to see is this somebody leaving a tent behind that's a bit of a joke Up there is Kidsty Pike, uh, in um, a bit of cloud up there. And uh, just give you a quick look down Oldswater. Plenty of paths to um, explore. God, that tent's terrible there. I'm going to have to tell wardens when I get back about that. Ridiculous. Right, I'm going up that path there. Start to climb. It's like being in the jungle here. Yeah? <laughs> All these ferns. It gets even steeper in a minute. But hey, no problem. Yeah, there we go. Thought it did. 
up there we go parking lot is full come in eh that weren't like that when I set off very popular place can't blame them though with this going to follow them up there now pretty steep there's no messing about it's more or less out the car park and straight up which I like what we got up there we've got Eagle Crag, Heron Crag and Swyth Crag uh, to navigate over which it looks not too bad once we get up there just catching the breeze a bit right let's go up there another quick look at Oldswater looks beautiful doesn't it really nice that uh, be up on Teagle Crag in a minute where that block is up there catch you later On to Eagle Crag and uh, yeah first sight of Lee Water with the river going down and it's beautiful I'm gonna go up there and follow in the distance that path up onto the top I'm just gonna go and get a drink if you don't mind right quick drink few rocks to navigate up onto Rough Crag which we are, we are nearly there there's two little paths split off here I've taken the one on the right it's a great little path uh, probably quite slippy in uh, winter coming down this way Nearly there now. Up on to Rough Crag now. Well, Trig Point's just over there. I thought I'd just pan round up on this bit. It's worth showing you. That's the um, path I'll be coming back. Well, it's a track into it. Uh, I'll be coming back down on later. Don't know what that uh, little lake's there called. I can't see anything in, on the map. Could name it after me then, couldn't they? Um, that is Blee Water, which is 200 feet deep, believe it or not, and was created by a glacier coming down. Um, Kitsty Pike, just a bit of cloud on it. Then back down to Oars Water with a flooded village. Okay, got a drink over there, so I'll go and get it now. go once I get up there I think I'll jump in Lee Tom if it's 200 feet deep I don't think I'm gonna hit the bottom <laughs> bit of a climb up there to go and then uh, we'll be up onto High Street uh, I'll tell you a bit about High Street when I get up there I won't bore you too much don't worry bye for now
just a couple more crags to climb over and I'll be on the top of our street looking back again changed my mind about jumping in blue water it's too cold onwards and upwards Kitsty Park again that's where I came up just gonna get up here and then I'm gonna grab some lunch sign here I think it'll be a path one I think repairs is it? it is usually are Rangers undertaking path repairs please proceed with care caring for the Lake District mountain paths they'll probably use helicopters to bring these bags up here a lot of erosion I had to come over here and get a view of this um, Cumbrian Mountains over there uh, and then we'll just go across and I'll tell you, try and tell you all of them I don't know them all but that one there is Crinkle Crags and behind that well you've got Bowfell and then Scarfell and the Scarfell Park uh, Scarfell the highest mountain in uh, England in the cloud behind them you've got Great Gable just peeking out and then moving along the famous um, striding edge the one that's very dangerous in winter and squirrel edge um, shame I can't show you but in the bottom there's Old's water the big lake Old's water but the views are fantastic I've done a lot of these mountains but I've never seen them from this view before gonna go up to the trig point at High Street and race course hill high street let's go and touch the trick point i've left the trick point and uh, going over to mardale bell now which is over on that path there the views to Thornthrake Crag and Frostwick are over there and in the far distance the lake is uh, Lake Windermere gleaming in the sunshine I don't know if you can see this on the camera and further over it's uh, Morecambe Bay stunning views Mardale Bell here we come A uh, bit more on our street, it's actually a Roman road is our street I don't know if it's highest in Britain but it's you think it would be being up there Also up on Racecourse Hill It's named from a fair that they used to have back in the 1800s where they, uh, they used to race horses up there uh, wrestling matches and people used to gather to um, collect all the sheep uh, it, I think it, if I read it, it ceased to um, stop in 1835. So that was the end of horse racing, wrestling, and um, coconut shards, whatever. Okay. Quick view from Mardale Bell. I think it's Mardale Bell 3, Old Water. And that's my next objective up there, Artifel. It's 
some more walkers coming it's my uh, next hill to climb right up there onto Arterfell it's actually called Arterfell Mardale because there is another Arterfell I think it's over near um, Rhinos Pass the other Arterfell uh, South Lakes I think somebody might correct me on that Four and, four and three. It's hard to say. Four and three. Crag and Frostwick again. Right out to sea again. Right, let's get going. It don't look that bad, does it? They're deceiving. The um. Sometimes not as tough as what they look and then and vice versa you think oh yeah walk in the park and um, It's steeper than you think Just navigating over these rocks now Been so lucky with weather I mean late districts renowned for rain into uh, even in summer, but I picked a good day today the Met Office forecasted it to be pretty cloudy up on our street, but I'm glad to say he got it a little bit wrong. Tongue in cheek. Okay, see you in a bit. Ooh, nice wind. I'm off we up to fill Mardale now. Not that far to go. Show you this again. That's that ridge I came up this morning. Followed it right up there. Up there. Onto the top of our street. And there's Mardale Bell and down the path here great little walk you can do it all the way around highly recommended get climbing up here now one last push up there and then we're on the trick point. Here we are, Otterfell. Dash model on the trick point. Great views over the other side. Our girls. The our girls that not many people walk. I don't know why it's a beautiful area. Shapfells and North Pennines. I know I'm shouting, but it's pretty windy. Crossfell, Ark Up Nick, all them. Well worth the climb up here. Right, eight. I'm going to follow this fencing now down. Bye for now.
dropping right down off um, Arterfell now. Over there is Banstry. I think that's how you pronounce it. And um, over there is Tarn Crag and Grey Crag. Two more Wainwrights. You can see my path down there. Not that far back to Carnow. Okay, see you in a bit. Junction, one mile for me, Mardale Head. Nanbield Pass, byway to Sadgill, two and a half miles. One mile for us to go. Oh, lovely breeze. Great little path down to Mardale Head. Easy going. Probably not be coming up. It's quite steep. And the weather's just getting better and better as the day goes on. It, it does that a lot. Sometimes rains in the morning and then picks up in the afternoon later on. And just see some people um, down in the bottom there. And uh, this morning's uh, ridge up there. around that corner you can see this path there I went this morning I've, abs um, I've thoroughly enjoyed today what a great circular walk that is around there up on our street I can't recommend it enough if you watch my video then you'll see how nice it is the scenery and everything so we'll end here now and say thanks very much for watching again and uh, if you haven't subscribed I appreciate it if you did or give us a like or please leave us a comment and I'll say goodbye from the Lake District at Oswalter and I'll catch you definitely on the next one okay bye for now